Tabby Star, the Stellar Mystery Tabby Star is a hydrogen-fusing star 1,670 light-years away from Earth, located in the constellation of Cygnus. It is also known as Boyajian Star or WTF Star. Its discovery dates back to 1890. It is known for its weird fluctuations and 22% periodical dimming in brightness. These light fluctuations were discovered by citizen scientists as part of the Planet Hunters project. Planet Hunters is a crowd monitoring or public volunteering project that uses human eyes to find exoplanets. It accomplishes this by allowing users to analyze data from NASA's Kepler Space Telescope and NASA's Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite. The Kepler Space Telescope is the primary source of information about Tabby Star's luminosity fluctuations. From 2009 to 2013, it continuously monitored the light curves of over 100,000 stars in a patch of sky between the constellations of Cygnus and Lyra. Several hypotheses have been presented to explain the reason for these uneven dips of the star, but none of them have been proven to be certain. Disintegrating Comets Cloud Hypothesis According to this hypothesis, a cloud of disintegrating comets orbiting the star elliptically is the reason for the dimming in light. This scenario would assume that a planetary system surrounding Tabby's star has something similar to the Oort cloud, and that gravity from a nearby star caused comets from that cloud to fall closer into the system, obstructing Tabby's star's light. Alien Megastructure Hypothesis some astronomers speculated that the objects eclipsing Tabby's star could be components of an alien civilization's megastructure, such as a Dyson Swarm. A Dyson Swarm is a hypothetical structure that an advanced civilization might construct around a star in order to intercept some of its light for energy purposes. Although this hypothesis created a major backlash from some researchers, it remains a major target of SETI or search for extraterrestrial intelligence, as no theory as of now can explain this dimming phenomenon. Uneven Dust Ring Hypothesis One of the explanations given by astronomers is that the dimming is caused by the uneven dust ring around the star. This theory is based on the fact that less dimming was found in the infrared light from the star than in its ultraviolet light. It is similar to the principle that during sunset the sun appears red, as the blue and ultraviolet light is scattered by particles of dust. Based on the strong ultraviolet dip, the researchers concluded that the blocking particles must be larger than interstellar dust, which are small grains that could be anywhere between Earth and the star. Such small particles could not stay in orbit around the star because the starlight's pressure would propel them further into space. But circumstellar dust orbits a star, and is not so small that it flies away, but is also not large enough to uniformly block light at all wavelengths. This kind of dust string may have formed due to the destruction of one or more planets orbiting the star in the past. Exomoon Hypothesis Some researchers theorized that it may be an exomoon that is causing this phenomenon. Tabby's star may have bumped one of the moons from its planets into its own orbit, in the process shredding the moon to form a dust ring. This may be the cause of the fluctuations. Other Hypotheses One of the other theories includes the blockage by coalescing material of a young star. This theory was deemed highly unlikely from the NASA Infrared Telescope Facility experiments. Some researchers suggested massive collision of planets, leaving behind the debris field, causing the dimming. Some say dimming may be a part of Tabby Star swallowing a planet, or that a planet with oscillating rings is causing the fluctuations, but these theories are deemed highly unlikely due to a lack of evidence. There is another hypothesis where the fluctuations are mentioned by the Trojan asteroid swarms trailing a large ringed planet. Some speculated that the missing heat flux involved in the dimming of the star could be stored within the star's interior. Variations in luminosity could be caused by a variety of mechanisms affecting the efficiency of heat transport within the star. 
one cannot rule out most of these hypotheses, as there is no concrete evidence against any of them to be proven wrong. Tabby's star remains an intriguing prospect for the researchers to debate on, and learn more about the unknowns of the universe. It is a target for SETI in the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, and it is a target for other researchers to find new kinds of worlds. But future exploration will decide which theory wins in the end. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe to the channel.